How are everyone? How are you doing? It's Isaac. Look at this beautiful beach. This bay, just outside of Ankara. About an hour and a half drive. Very nice. Actually, by the way, I'm having a little Coca Cola, a little bottle, a little one. Um, as you can see, as you can see, because I'm telling you what I, what's, what's the purpose of this video. It's a bit of a complaint actually because I lost my sandals. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, that's called tied out. Basically, every few hours, I've done a bit of research on the internet. Every few hours, um, depends how the moon is positioned and how the currents of the ocean and all that. The water goes far away. It's called tied out, and then later in the evening, or perhaps the next day, sometimes the water comes closer. Yeah, it's called tied in. I think it's called. But what I done? <coughs> Oops. <coughs> Yesterday I went for a swim. It's freaking cold. It's like eight, seven, eight degrees outside. And water, like, I actually took a, one of that little, little thermometer. I want to measure the, the, the temperature, and it's four degrees, four to five degrees of water. Can you believe that? But I, I, I see this video online on internet on YouTube about this elderly man, about seventy something years old, who's quite famous for his um, courage to have this very cold bath in like ice cold water or like an ocean cold water and apparently it helps with the if you're like a, for example I'm a little bit autistic sometimes I can get a bit emotional you know, lonely and perhaps you as well you know everyone gets a little bit emotional sometimes sad you know sometimes depressed this whole life it is isn't it and apparently this cold cold shower cold water as well it helps to kind of a I don't want to say heal yourself but it kind of a, a very anti-aging as well it keeps you young and beautiful and all that well i'm not that beautiful but perhaps for you know fitness individuals as well you know it's perhaps very helpful but it helps to makes you a stronger person mentally kind of like and then uh, and then very good ways perhaps i don't know how to use the right words but apparently cold waters cold baths as well is very very good for you and um How it is now, like the ocean, very far away. Yeah, and uh, by late afternoon, the water came very close. It is, it is a see, there's a wall there. And sometimes, the, actually, you observe like in the morning, it's a bit far away. Then in the afternoon, the water comes closer, the ocean comes closer to the wall. And now it's about, about two o'clock in the afternoon, uh, Canadian time. the UK so yeah so UK has six six hours plus and in Canada six six and a half six something you know and um, now the water is very far away and I went for a swim and I left the sandals around this area that I remember very well I took my jumper off left the sandals there uh, some other stuff like the hotel room keys as well <laughs> anyway <laughs> I got a reception key as well saying right now when the tide is very close I am. the water the depth can be the water can be seriously above me so you realize the current probably would put the sand as far away to see with the mermaids with the dolphins yeah so it's a mystery sandals it cost me about 150 pounds or 200 euros if you're in Europe you can't miss it sour sandals I can't return to return to Glasgow on the first of May this week and of this week which means we don't have to be fifth we have to be five days of leaving Canada for good I mean not like I'm not coming back I will return at some point
stuff from the algae is yeah from the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, it's a clear sign that the, the, the water comes. Yeah, let me show you a bit more. Yeah. So as you can see, it's very interesting sometimes to see actually what's under the water, under the ocean. It's like a different life. Like check this out. Like where I am now, where I'm staying now, well, the tide is very closer. Like it's going very closer to the, to the wall. Where I'm staying right now, the water should be about three meters above kind of a maybe more than three meters and it's interesting what is under the water all this life I mean it's like it's like yeah it's interesting I'm like, walking on the, the bottom of the ocean yeah and check this out yeah you got these very interesting rocks yeah under the water as well seriously it's a very artistic thing if you're into creative arts you know like a painter perhaps painters are very fascinated by this by these landscapes and um, oceans and things there's this English painter very famous he lived in about 1700 in the Victorian time his name is Mr. Turner Mr. Turner yeah he was a very lonely man he lived his life without a woman he never had been married he didn't have any friends he actually refused to have friends he was obsessed fascinated about his you know, he's, he like to paint what's far away into the ocean, um, uh, ships, uh, a person staying on a beach, a seagull, a bird flying above the water. And most of his art in the very beginning, like most artists, they are not recognized in the beginning. Like most of his amazing paintings in the very beginning, almost half of his life until about 50 years old or so, he, he didn't live too long. He died about six about 50 something years old, 60 years old. Apparently he died because very lonely man. Sadness and depression and all that, like most artists. <laughs> um, most of his artwork was not recognized. And closer to his death, um, in the last five, seven years of his living life, um, people got very interested about his way of life all is lonely and all that and uh, uh, start to critique his art like oh it's this and that you know like most art is how it is criticized in the beginning and then he got very very famous when he died can you believe that like most artists authors writers uh, uh, poets uh, all that they got famous when they died like this is the most perfect example is that russian writer Fyodor Dostoevsky that man was a very interesting thinker yeah he was imprisoned in a Siberian jail about 150 years ago yeah 200 years ago and he wrote some very controversial novels uh, crime and punishment is one of my favorites um, demons very dark novel very interesting very complicated writing very sophisticated writing and he was imprisoned by this Lenin, you know, Lenin, uh, Russian dictator about 200 and something years ago. He was imprisoned for most of his life in jail, in a Siberian jail. And uh, he got famous after he died. Some of his writing, writings uh, apparently he was saved by some uh, detainees, convicts and all that. And they arrived in the Western countries. Or people are more open-minded in the Western countries, obviously, you know, like the UK, like the, like the, some parts of Europe, like the Americans, the Canadian, the Australian, you know, the Western culture, yeah, and it was published. But yeah, very interesting story, isn't it? So yeah, as you can see, it's tied up, completely tied up. Like, it's fascinating how much water is disappearing. Like, all this thing now, it's not really a beach, it's like... wet you know so yeah there's no sign of my sandals obviously but yeah i'm very excited to go back to glasgow go back to the uk in a few days i miss my home so much i have an amazing ideas about making some very interesting music original music i i record uh, uh, my own music i like it i like what i do and uh some, some drum machines six 
synthesizers and happy accidents sometimes creates very interesting tracks um, oh it's so wet here yeah um, a few people told me that my music is all right I live in hope one day I'll get out there and perform DJ perform live as well I would like to uh, at the heart I'm a DJ at heart I'm quite good at mixing records, honestly saying. But as times goes, yeah, you get more open-minded, more experience, and all that. So I would like to, when the time will come, hopefully God help me one day to get out there and someone will recognize my talent, my passion, my my thing. Yeah. Um, to DJ perform actually in a bit of a live situation thing, like not a hundred percent live, more like a hybrid hybrid thing. Like here's an example of a hybrid. Like you have, let's say uh, you have your CDJs, yeah, or your turntables. Let's say CDJ and turntable, and then you you use some of your gear from your home studio, yeah, let's say a drum machine, a keyboard, a synthesizer, and you incorporate that stuff into your into your setup into your dj setup and that's called a hybrid it's like half dj half live the music that you perform in real time um and it can be quite interesting you have to sync you have to use midi sync you have to use some it's a bit complicated but it can be done very well others are doing it very well it's not like something new it's like it's people heart is doing this for a very very long time or you can do it 100 percent live like actually getting your studio, everything was in your recording studio, getting on the road, packing suitcases and actually perform music in real time or perform your own tracks from home and show them there to the people, to the audience. It's not an option, but I'm not in a position at the moment to actually take all my studio with me on the road because uh, I'm, I'm a very poor artist. I don't, I mean, I'm traveling to Canada, yeah, but that, that's just some savings that I, that I had and actually had to work a stupid job, a ship job to save for this travel and it's like one of that thing you do it once a year you know but I can't do it too many times yeah so it's same like with the recording studio you take all your stuff to perform for the people very nice but if something happened with that stuff you know like uh, it's get lost in the airport or it's get damaged you can't really replace it very soon you know <laughs> so yeah so yeah a lot, kind of like a hybrid thing the DJ gear and some from the recording studio and something interesting can be can be turned into some some very musical things yeah musical uh, the melodic stuff yeah. no sandals huge chunk of water disappeared far away at sea so yeah uh, so i wish you a very very interesting and good few days good week month Someone is gonna come in a few, in a little while. If you're an artistic individual, a man or a woman, believe in yourself. Perhaps you set your stuff there, you put yourself out there, and people ignore you. Doesn't recognize your talent. There's a lot of selfish people there. There's the ego and all that. Just be respectful, believe in yourself, and don't say anything back like, "Oh, you ignore me." No, you never say that. Just remember that. One day, my, yours as well, talent will be recognized and those who once ignore you and didn't recognize you, perhaps one day, oh, here's the one, and will come and say, hello, show me some of your music, show me some of your stuff, so that just me saying, a bit of an encouragement, yeah, so wish you an amazing, uh, amazing few days, an amazing spring, yeah.